there's less than 10% of these grassy box woodlands remaining in a reasonable condition. So it's really important ecologically and for that vegetation community to know how to manage that because there's not much left. Two of the key triggers uh, that impact on these native grasslands and the box gum woodlands, one is grazing and the second is uh, superphosphate and the addition of nutrients. So you can choose when you graze, uh, that's a really strong way of impacting. You can choose how much stock you put on it as well. For the uh, plant diversity and for those more the biodiversity aspects, low to moderate grazing is ideal. Low stocking density, continual grazing seems to be really good for those uh, native plants and animals. Um, and you can do your grazing in context of remembering you've probably got sown pastures or less diverse pastures, which are the ones that you can use while you're potentially resting or uh, where you might put higher grazing densities on, higher stocking rates, as opposed to maybe a lighter in some of these other areas. So grazing is really key. The other is superphosphate. Now, you know, the addition of super has been fantastic. It's made things really productive, but people have re-evaluating it now and they're having a second think about it. It costs a lot of money and you may not get that sort of return that you want. Um, you can just put super down but in fact you don't get really a response. So to start thinking about your superphosphate use. Uh, so a lot of people now are tending to either concentrate their super use on those more productive paddocks. So maybe your sown or your cultivated pastures because the thing is once you put super on these really diverse high with lots of wildflowers and so on the annual grasses and the exotics really love it so brome and rye grass and and volpia and silver grass all those sorts of things they really love that they outcompete our native plants and you, you lose that diversity. So managing your nutrients, thinking about your, your addition of superphosphate, where you might put it on your paddocks and how much and uh, is another way. So they're, they're two really key ways you can have an influence on, on what you're doing.